Okay. Oh, we got it. We got it. Anyway. It's doing yeah. it. It's doing a thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back, and we just realized why my nickname Shorpa Superhero. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Oh, Thor. Oh, goodbye forever, Thor. Um. So. Once again, uh, <laughs> welcome back for oh puppy distraction. Okay, now I gotta get, get my doge too. Oh, get your doges, boys! You get those doges. We we brought the dogs out just in case that no, you couldn't hear her. I, uh, I it was our backup. It was our backup plan. In case forever, I just was never gonna be heard from again. Okay. How embarrassing! <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at all of them. <laughs> Oh, Doge hype. Oh, uh, Doge hype. Get hyped for the Doges. <laughs> this is Doge. Why isn't it working, Doge? Why isn't it working? <laughs> Ew, it's so no working idea now. I what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright. This is Doge. Okay, am I... Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like, Dad, what are you doing? Oh, he's so anyway. cute. Alright, gentlemen. Well... As I was saying, uh, welcome to the first uh, episode of Give the Game Away, uh, where we experience technical difficulties, don't give any games away, and talk about Gigantic. Um, once again, we have uh, Pyro and Thor with me, uh, who will be streaming live at PAX East for Motiga and Gigantic. So, we're gonna... Now we're so, gonna be talking. Yeah. Um, yeah. So... Uh, Dory Sour Power Hour, oh god. Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, so you kind of briefly on a couple, uh, instances say that a lot of stuff could have been done better, uh, in South for the streams. Uh, do you want to maybe talk about that and run through what you'd like to see better? What you, what you want to, to do better to make this mm. the best? Boy, do we have a lot of good plans <laughs> for that. Um, I, we can talk about some of these things. Mm -hmm. Um, Number one, graphics for the overlays. Um, I, we actually just saw today um, some new stuff from Motiga. We sent them a bunch of like bullshit mock-ups that were like, hey, do this thing and make it kind of look like this. And then they sent back amazing artwork. So they're gonna the, the overlay is going to look way better. Very nice. That's yeah. awesome. Um, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. I guess the other thing too, um, and before Thor rants, uh, I know he's the biting thing... at the at just the mid part. He wants it so bad. No, 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 a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, packs packs out the side. Like, I mean, there were some great things yeah. that we did at packs. Like, we pulled together what we could with you know massive technical failures, or whatever, um, and it was great. But this time around, um, we have uh, some better equipment in. We brought in some outside talent to help us out with um, some idea with, you know, how to set up the equipment and all that. Um, and we're actually going to be able to stream the tournament this time. <gasps> oh, that's nice. awesome news. Well done. Right. Yeah, so I guess that's really the big thing for all the viewers. But Yeah, that's, that's yeah. huge. Yeah, super excited about that. Uh, I think the one thing that was missing last time was uh, it looks like Thor has mouse ears. I do not have mouse ears, Monica. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, the big thing last time, you know, you know Pack South is in the past. It's in the past, and like Timon once said, you got to put the past behind you, and uh, something like that, right? Um, but we have gameplay now, and I think that's really what people want to see is gameplay, 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 gameplay. Uh, <laughs> And not one, but we, we're Pyro and I are working on something uh, to be a little bit special when it comes to gameplay. It's like uh, what was the uh, the OxyClean? He's like, buy now, get two OxyClean later, and it's gonna be kind of like that. So we <laughs> actually have super, 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 super uh, exciting things to bring for you as far as gameplay goes, because not one, but. Anyways, uh, so spoiler, redacted. But I'm uh, really excited for that. Uh, we have some really cool people, all hands on board. Um, Troy kind of talked to us and they're like, hey, you know, what do you guys need to make this quick good? And we're like, boom, we got you. So from the ground up, Pyro and I are going to be planning this, helming this uh, with the smart people over there at Motiga. And there's a lot of great minds behind it. And it's going to be great. It's going to be great. I'm super, yeah. excited. super awesome. excited. We gave Motiga a laundry list of all the things that we wanted to do. And like I had a bunch of equipment stuff. I was like, we need this, this and this. And it, it's happening. So. Um, the stream will be much higher quality for everybody. Um, I'm really looking forward to it because it'll be the kind of presentation that we really want to bring the community 
Um, and I think I think you guys are really going to enjoy it, too. we got a lot of fun content. That's awesome. And that rolls me into the next, what sort of prep is involved? I mean, even just setting up this stream, I was like, oh, this is so much. And then my sound, you know, and you still can't prepare for it. So what, what are you guys doing to kind of prepare for it? What do you need to put on a production of this quality and magnitude? Emails. I don't know about you, Pirate, but I'll... I like to wake up every morning, eat about like five raw eggs, and then uh, go on a nice jog. But yeah, no, Pyro kind of hit it, nail on the head. Emails, emails for days, boys and girls. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to be a we've good been streamer. In, we've been emails. In very, a lot of emails. We've been in very close communication with uh, with Motiga about the the wants and needs and things like that. And they've, um, I I actually got to go down there last week. <clears throat> um, and yeah, Thor salty. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Super salty about so that. Bad. That's what I get. That's what I get for living halfway across the world. Uh. Right. Um, so yeah, I got to go down to Motiga. Um, I can't really talk about basically anything except for the fact that um, I did get to see some really cool stuff that we're going to be showing off at PAX uh, East. Um, I cannot wait for you guys to see this stuff. Um, it's going to be it's going to be incredible. Um, some things like video content, uh, gameplay. Um, potentially new content that that's all i can say potency it's shapers. gonna be amazing <laughs> potency shaper hype wait no potency shaper. <laughs> uh, um yeah. yeah but i mean as far as you know prep goes to also um one of the things that um we're thinking about doing is we may do a stream at one point this week uh i'm actually probably going to go down to the studio we're going to set up all the equipment and just do like a test stream and also like hey you know, here's all the stuff we're going to be doing, like kind of a little preview type thing. Um, so at the very least, um, that's one of the other things that's going into it. Like there's a lot of technical prep work because we are stepping up big time instead of using like, you know, like USB headsets. We're talking like pro audio stuff. So that's been the other half of the setup is all the technical crap. And that's mostly me. Oh, really? Uh, we oh, Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, we actually managed to round up about like, 12 uh dwarf wizards and told them to work on our pack setup and it's great it's great instead of dorothy and the 12 dwarfs now we have 12 wizard dwarfs working on us and somebody mentioned in the chat wait do we have spec spec mode spec already mode, yeah. i spec we can't mode? really comp we can't comment on whether or not no we comment. have it but we we are going to be streaming the tournament and if we're streaming the tournament i feel like they wouldn't do it without an solution to the problem and that's all i'm going to say about that so yeah yeah yeah, you, you don't yeah. think they're just going to stand behind one of the players with, like, a 1988 video recorder, like, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, zoom in, zoom in, yeah, just zoom in. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, we're going to have a little handy cam back there, you know, yeah. mom's handy cam from 20 years ago. Oh, there you go. I mean, that's yeah. basically how it was set up last stream, huh, with the, the duct tape on the on top of the computer, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was No, hilarious. I mean, it, it literally would not have happened. Like, I, I just, I randomly decided, like, I'm just going to bring my camera just in case I want to do, like, a little vlog thing or something. I don't know. Like, if I hadn't brought that, we wouldn't have been able to stream, honestly. Uh, can't we had, because of a technical problem, could not interface with the computer. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Pack South, it's in the past. <laughs> it's yeah, in the past. it's just, in the past. You just don't even want to. Uh, but that's exciting, though. I mean, I feel like you guys learned so much from it. Like, oh yeah, I, I highly Absolutely. doubt you're gonna be making the same mistakes. You know, I mean, I would bring duct tape just in case. That's that would be my suggestion. Is you can There's never always duct tape. You can never have too much duct tape. Um, so yeah, so that basically covers the first time. Um, and what kind of schedule? Can you can you talk about the schedule and what you guys are thinking about doing as far as the stream? When can we expect to see uh, those who we those can who talk can't about go. scheduled content, but the exact times we don't have nailed down quite yet. Mm -hmm. So Thor, I'll let you take that one. Yeah, um, we're gonna be streaming all day, all day, our day. Uh, so if you turn on your sh like computer and you're like, I want to see gigantic. Um, you like nine times out of ten, you will be able to see us. Um, I don't think we're gonna be streaming at night, so sad panda. But um, I promise you, you guys want to turn on the stream and see a little bit of gigantic. You're gonna be able to get a crap ton of it at uh, PAX. That's all we can say really about that. Uh, we're definitely shooting for. Uh, yeah, we're definitely shooting for. Um, I know an average Twitch stream for me is like eight, six hours, seven hours around that area. So that's definitely what you guys can look forward to. So. 
Yeah, it'll be, um, I mean, starting every day, you know, just like we did at South at 10 a.m. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we'll, we'll see, right? Um, but, I mean, 10, 10 a.m. Is, uh, is, the, is, the sh- is the time we're shooting for. Um, as far as <laughs> a 24-hour stream, um, what's going here? I'll, what, here's what we can talk about. Um, the stream content that we'll be looking for is we're going to be doing gameplay. On Sunday, we're obviously going to be doing the tournament. The panels oh, will yeah. be streamed. Um, as for exactly what those panels are, that's hush hush for now. Um, we're going to be Thor and I actually are putting together a couple of interviews with some devs that we haven't heard from yet. Um, so it's going to be like some really fresh content for the community. And then the other thing that we're doing <laughs> oh is during God. the um, what? <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> You're super lagging for me. He went from like pyro to a C3PO and then it got like really sped up. So you're just like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that was great. I think, I, think, right. I think you might actually be having some, uh, like, you sound like super, super duper, like, robot voice to me right now. Huh? There's a <laughs> robot pyro in chat. <laughs> uh oh. That is strange. Well, anyway, um, there's probably some latency issues between somebody. Um, anyway, the uh, last thing, last thing, this is super hype. This is something that I really wanted us to do that I'm really glad we're doing. So for people that are in different time zones who cannot watch during the day, we will be rebroadcasting the day's content. Um, as simply, as soon as we go offline, we'll wait for, you know, half an hour for Twitch to process the VOD. And then, uh, once that VOD is available, um, it will, uh, we'll be rebroadcasting it during the night while we're offline so that if you guys miss something during the day you can actually go back and watch it again during the night and you know this will be great for people who are um in uh you know europe or australia or something like that who are in very opposite time zones they'll still be able to catch some of that content even though it won't be live they can still get it to be at least hmm, fairly fresh ah, very yeah. nice yeah that's they- really helpful people on this coast who can't make it the poor yeah. west coast uh, <laughs> i actually I, I made bazil get snapchat just for his trip out to uh out to pax pax east to snapchat everything i want yes. my hands on everything so that's that's super exciting news um speaking of the trip uh are you guys excited for flights so many flights uh, uh, yeah. Actually, I'm oh, really yeah. excited for mine because I have a direct flight. I'm Shut going from up. Seattle straight to Boston. I'm so hyped. Wow. No connecting flights. And it's overnight. So basically, we get on the plane at like 10 p.m. Praise the sun. Uh, we get on this plane at like 10 p.m. And then we get into Boston at like 7 a.m. So I'm probably just going to sleep the whole time. It's going to be fantastic. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay, we got you guys. <laughs> Sorry. Huh? Yeah, yeah you guys so, turned so... into my Skype chat for a second, but we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super excited, too. Um, so it's funny when people say, like, oh, it's, like, three-hour flights, four-hour flights, even, like, eight-hour flights. I went to Germany for Gamescom, and that was a long doozy of a flight. Wow. But, um, but <laughs> I, I travel up to Maine every, like, six, six months because uh, we have a house up there, and... It takes probably about three days of just pure traveling, three and a half, four days. And so when I get there, I'm like, oh, I never want to be in a car again. But uh, but then like when I get on a plane, like two, three hours, I'm like at my destination. I'm like, well, this is fantastic. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I'm super excited. Uh, two, uh, two, three hours. I think my flight's two and a half hours. So not uh, not too worried about that. Um, those are always fun. But again, I'm just East Coast. So I'm going from Florida to Boston. To Baston. So I'm really excited about that. Uh... Baston, Pat the cab with the dog. <laughs> Very nice. I like it. I like that you're practicing. You're clearly ready. Uh, and I, I, oh, yeah. I hope all stream, just all stream, you got to just have that accent. Like you're, I would want to punch myself in the face. <laughs> like you're from the Departed. We're coming no, here from I, Pax I, East. Uh, no, I really think Iron Druid or one of my viewers would just come out of nowhere like, I took a $200 flight, $200 flight for this. Boom! Just <laughs> <laughs> just I, I already, I, I already uh, drive him up a wall or enough. I don't want to lose anymore. <laughs> uh, Oh, too funny. <laughs> the opinion is in from chat. That was awful. We won't be doing that. Was that. <laughs> it was awful. It was right. uh, but yeah, I mean, as far as like people in the chat are asking about the weather too with the whole flights thing, not really worried about it because uh, air, airports are really on top of that whole weather 
thing and there haven't really been any flight delays. Um, what has what is a bit of a concern, but um, I will so what I will say is Motiga is really stepping up on this for us. I'm like I'm just blown away at like everything Motiga's already done for us, but um, they're actually going to be like all uh, all the food um, at the event, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner uh, will essentially be provided. Um, we basically won't have to leave the convention center except to go to our hotels, and they're even doing shuttles for us. Like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just so blown away by uh, what Motiga is doing uh, to 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 support us, and I mean, obviously themselves too, because they're sending a bunch of devs along. Um, but anyway, it's uh, it's going to be really cool. Um, and man, Motiga is really, really stepping up. That's awesome. Well, you know, they got to protect their car uh, precious cargo. You know, like you guys, you guys are, I think, their bread and butter for this uh, PAX East. Like, you're going to just see so much hype uh, via the streams, and that's really how they're going to, I think, clinch the deal, and that's awesome. And I know their their booth um, is in a really exciting spot. What, what Thor? What? I, I saw Malcor in chat, and you know my mind is in the gutter because it says, I saw I thought I said hotels and panties, and it's parties. Ah! I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> hotels and panties, baby. <laughs> That's that, what I'm talking about. That isn't your uh, first beer, is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Hand of fate is strong. Uh, <laughs> oh man but uh but yeah go check out the gigantic page they talks a little bit about the heroes that are being <laughs> uh released right now so yeah yeah, yeah we got super <clears throat> super good stuff hmm? yeah timber you're uh you should turn your mic up again somehow it seems quiet all of a sudden we uh -oh. can it's quiet turn it up crank it party mode um yeah yeah um super hype uh, about our oh, you talking you were mentioning the booth placement while you're adjusting your mic um I, we are like two booths away from blizzard which is amazing um i guess they're gonna have overwatch there which is gonna be crazy hype um so we're gonna be getting a ton of traffic and we once again have one of the largest booths on the show floor um so go motiga for that we're actually doubling the uh, capacity for um people to play so more people will get to play the game yeah uh, awesome super super hype um this is their biggest convention yet um convention mm -hmm. showing correct oh yeah and malkyor just said right next to arena net too yeah mm -hmm. so um uh arena nets or i should say guild wars 2 is new expansion yeah. gonna be right next to us so it's gonna be i mean it's an amazing spot for us to be for for you know exposure for gigantic but um we're also right next to some really really cool um you know other developers and games and whatnot so i'm I'm excited to kind of be in this little like this little area of like really cool stuff going on ah that's awesome yeah and for independent companies to have like a booth the size of gigantic is just absolutely fan freaking fantastic um that just usually doesn't happen in the industry all that much usually like the big three sony microsoft and nintendo will bring the mm -hmm. uh, hard-hitting booths but uh motiga laying it down <laughs> with the gigantic booth and i'm super excited about that that's gotta uh we actually I actually have a bigger booth than nintendo oh shut Dude, up Sam. yeah wow <laughs> nice. Ooh, gotta make that dollar 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 very nice very very nice <laughs> Would you say you it's say gigantic? I will put a little asterisk said by Geek Fae first on chat. I got oh, I see it. it. I see it in chat. Uh, uh, all of you guys win. stop. I got oh, Geek Fae. man. Right, let me hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh oh. <laughs> I gotta get, you gotta get the pun hype in. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> anyway. All right, and stream's over. Everyone go home. It's done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can't top that. No, I can't top that. I don't know where we're going now. Um, so, actually, I did I did have a question for you, uh, Pyro. How many times has Luxie uh, rubbed it in her face that this is her turf? Because I know when I moved out here, I was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm from New York. I mean, it's no big deal, but, like, I'm just going back to New York. Like, whatever, man. <laughs> like... And I know in she the is, interview she mentioned, mentioned it. She's mentioned it quite a few times, actually. <laughs> at, le at least a thousand. Yep. Um, <laughs> yep. For anybody who doesn't know, uh, Luxie, Luxie is also uh, one of the gigantic community coaches and it's my girlfriend, and she's really cute. Um, and she's actually from New York, uh, from Buffalo specifically. So uh, we're heading back to the uh, you know, the cold, the cold, frigid north uh, during during this time of year. Apparently, it's actually snowing. I'm over here in Bellingham, and uh, I mean we're pretty far north too, but we haven't had any snow. So 
theory, bit of a climate change. But at the same time, I got a beard. I got plus 20 frost resist anyway. Yeah, I'll you, be fine. You already look like you're you're from the East Coast with that thick guy here. Uh, Thor, on the other hand, might be in a little bit of trouble. His neck will be nice and warm, though. No, you yeah. just need to like tie your hair and like and like braid it in front of your face, and then you'll just. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah are you are you looking? Forward. Yeah, there you go. Are <laughs> Are you looking forward to the cold? I mean, you're you're going from hot to hot to hot to. I um. Yeah, Darius, the, the, you and I are in Florida. Um, I spend my six months up here usually in Maine, like in the frigid like Ozarks and like the, you know, flannel jackets, pancakes in the morning, chopping trees up at night. Uh, so I'm I'm looking forward to it because I uh my half species is werewolf and like I'm, I'm sitting in a bed and he's like get away from me you're so hot and I'm like something's happening to me <laughs> into a werewolf and you're like no you're just an idiot and I'm like ah oh. so like I, my body always runs hot so uh, and I hate being in Florida I'm just 99% of the time sticky and sweaty and gross. So uh, I hate Florida. I, I absolutely hate Florida. <laughs> I'm Robo again. Uh, but um, anyways, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I love the cold weather. I have my Sith jacket and I have my uh, my trench coat and it looks like a Sith masterpiece and it looks good. That's, so. that's awesome. amazing. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I'm, I'm the same way, actually. I'm, I'm just I'm just a super warm guy like uh, Lexi can attest to that. Um, same thing. You know, when we're cuddling in bed, she's like, oh, you're so warm. Get off. And I'm like, no, I want to cuddle. <laughs> Here, come snuggle my time. beard. Uh, yeah. So I mean, cold weather to me is fantastic. So I'm I'm look I'm actually kind of looking forward to it because uh, all I'll have to do is like wear a jacket. Oh wow! And Super wear jealous. pants instead of shorts. So. <laughs> and maybe then, who knows? It'll probably be pretty warm in the convention <laughs> center. I bet. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's hysterical. All right, excellent. Uh, so, is there anything else you guys? Uh, want to to hype up for for the stream and and pax east any anything yeah, you, you take, want the take, viewers take away, yeah giveaways um actually we're going to be doing a bunch of giveaways like we did last time with our partners logitech uh specifically for that and one of the things that's really cool is we're going to be um kind of we're, we're going to be working with uh, uh emily at motika mo kaboom she is we're going to be doing um some kind of cross promotion between like Twitter and uh, Instagram and Facebook and all the other social stuff where we're going to be posting about like online giveaways. So not only, you know, can you guys who are going to be at home and not at the event um, watch the stream, but you guys can have uh, multiple chances to win uh, prizes. Um, last time we gave away like three or four keyboards, like 10 headsets. I mean, I, I don't even remember the count, but we gave away a lot of stuff. Like, what was it, Thor? Probably like maybe $1,500 oh, worth of prizes. Yeah. Dude, more than that, man. Uh, I mean, just for a stream, I would put it in about the 2K range, but then we gave away stuff on Twitter and shenanigans and all that kind of good stuff, and it just uh, – it was ridiculous uh, how much prize we yeah. gave away. And then we gave away um, – we gave away also prints. Don't forget about the prints, the title prints. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's right. Yes. Yeah. And didn't you, did you – Yeah, I, I even walked home with a, a Zenobia print that's – I yeah, mean, they're absolutely we gave away stunning. some at the event too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're really. I'll I'll never forget uh, uh, hearing. I think it was Troy muttering to himself, "Very generous." <laughs> I, I, that was cracking me up. Wow. Uh, so yeah, that's awesome. That is absolutely fabulous to just just you get stuff and you get stuff and you get stuff and everyone gets stuff. Logic Tech stuff. I will. I, I didn't get anything. I didn't get posters. I didn't get anything. <laughs> we got shagged on that one. <laughs> well, uh, actually, oh. I did. Oh, I, did hey. I did. I did. Gotcha, <laughs> I, I, I did. I did win a mouse. Um, we actually did some little giveaways for the community members too. And one of the things was uh, social media stuff. Um, so not only was Moti giving back to the community, but they also gave back to us. Like. I couldn't believe it. I just thought it was going to be like, hey, you know, thanks, Pyro, for being amazing and, like, Twittering all the Twitters. And then, like, Emily walks up to me with a freaking mouse, and I was like, who? It's amazing. So now, uh, it basically, it was the same mouse I already had, so Luxie got a mouse. Um, so, yeah, I mean, big, big, huge thanks to our, our buddies over at Logitech yeah. for providing all that stuff because, like, that, I mean, that's where it all came from, ultimately. I mean, the, the Logitech guys were super hype and, like, they they came to the social and they were really cool and they sat down and played the game like man I I love Logitech they 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 sponsor another event that I that I do uh, land fest um, we do land parties all over the U S it's amazing uh, but they're big sponsors for us too so Logitech big big love for Logitech actually all my peripherals are Logitech that's awesome 
things. Very as far as um, I, as far as I go, as far as hyping yeah. up the event, um, I'm not gonna blow smoke up your guys' skirts, but I will tell you this: it's gonna be crazy. I mean, um, they're like. Imagine we're on Pride Rock and Sim uh, Mufasa is gigantic and we're a little Simba and we're like, what about that dark spot over there? And then Mufasa's like, everything's gigantic. And, uh, it's all ours. Everything's ours. Everything the light touches, guys. I promise you there is going to be shenanigans like every single one of you guys in chat after this weekend. Your floors will be on the your floors will be on the ground. Your, your chairs will be on the ground because there is just stuff happening. Oh, my God. I want to tell you. I do, but I can't. I know personally I've been yeah. working on some of the stuff behind the scenes. I just, holy Moses, your panties should be right up there with like hyped because they're just, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. And uh, we can, again, we're, we're teases. We're the worst teases ever, but it's 100%. Just, I promise you, we're going to be in the news. Boom. That's... There, I said, uh, I, I, I said Oh, jeez. Wow. We're yeah, Tell your mother, your sister, it's... and your uh, mama too because we're going to be on the news. Hear that? We're coming for you. Since Thor yeah. is dropping that little teaserino, what I will say is the news that uh, is coming is going to be gigantic. <gasps> Yeah. I love it. I love the fun. Uh, but, pun, but puns aside, no, though, seriously, there is something coming down the pipe that is going to be so fucking massive. I can't even I, – I still can't even fathom it. It's it's going to be amazing. So anyway, make sure you guys are staying are, – are paying attention to uh, social media, um, you know, at GoGigantic on, on Twitter. Uh, make sure you're watching the Gigantic website. If you're on Facebook, go follow GoGigantic on Facebook um, because that, that announcement, when it drops – you guys, your brains are just gonna go. Boom. <laughs> just be like, because they're gonna be shaking. They're gonna be like, did I, did I just, just I just hear that? Oh, because, yeah. oh my god! All right, Pyro, we need to stop, buddy, before we get. Yeah. Right, no, we need all right, to... all right. No. Turn it. I don't want you to stop, but reel it in. <laughs> don't have to throw on the brakes, but slow down. Yeah, so, all it's right. Excellent. Thank you. Again, that's Pyro at PyroInsane.com. Check him out also on Twitch. Great stuff. And Thor at GLG. Dash Thor. Also great stuff on his Twitch. They're going to be streaming for uh, Gigantic at PAX East. Um, and now I'm going to turn it over to some art. Uh, so one of the things about Gigantic, huge community, awesome community, just the most talented people. Somehow Motiga just, just, I mean, so talented. So... I am going to be featuring some, and you'll be excited for this, uh, Pyro, some sweet chibi art. Uh, this is from, uh, let's see, Karist uh, off of Reddit. Unfortunately, um, he did not have a DeviantArt or anything, but he's been doing these phenomenal chibi heroes. There's Zenobia and Margrave, and uh, he even lets us vote on who we want to see next. And last I checked, uh, we're going to be seeing Mozo up next at a whopping 17% of the vote on Reddit. So. So, very, very nice. cool stuff. I know, isn't he so talented? And there's there's so much. I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg as far as talent goes for this community. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I actually, I, I, I actually reached out to uh, the artist and I said, hey, can I can I use the, the Chibi Margrave? Like, I just love it. Like, Margrave is my favorite character, of course. Like, demon arm that's on fire and he's covered in big, huge armor. Like, pff, of course, that's my guy. But, uh, oh, he's so cute. Oh, I want to pick actually, his cheeks. Uh. <laughs> I contacted him. And I was like, hey, you know, can I use this on, on my channel? And basically I have this little thing set up that says, like, sign up for the Gigantic Alpha. Click the Chibi Margrave. And it's a, it's a cool thing. So uh, big shout out to, to that uh, mm -hmm. fan art. And there's been some amazing stuff, too. And Motiga actually has some of this fan art up, like, on their mm -hmm. wall at the studio that I saw. There's, like, a whole little section on the wall that's all fan art. Yeah, they're they're really they're just fostering the crap out of just everyone, and they're so immensely talented. So, all right, very cool stuff. So we're gonna bring this thing to a wrap. All right, so thank you for everyone tuning in again. This is uh, Short Bus Superhero with GGUnleashed.com, the first gigantic all night. It's never gonna stop uh, fan site. Um, and thank you again, Pyro and Thor. Uh, for joining me tonight and talking about the stream and we're looking forward to seeing you again so cheers everyone see you guys soon it's gonna be great yep Super. have a good night make sure you guys tune in to that go gigantic twitch thing it's mm -hmm. gonna be amazing do it yeah.